Adobe Photoshop Express is absolutely free of cost and one of the best free photo editor for any kind of platforms, social media or your professional work, believe me or not. Today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop Express for your Windows or PC in general. Let's jump into the tutorial right now. Let's go to the photo library. Then I'm going to select my first photo, which I like personally. This is a raw file from Canon 70D. It is quite blue and needs a lot of work to fix it, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing first, the exposure looks good. Now we can try the auto, but the auto doesn't work, right? Because you want to get rid of this blue overcast because this is an underwater photography. In order to do that, we are going to go to the correction and then we are going to go to color in the temperature this is where the magic happens now obviously because it's blue you always reduce blue how are you going to do that so you can push it forward try to make it as warm as you can we're going to go all the way to 100 and this is look phenomenal i love it we don't need to do much in the tint section I may want to add some red tone. Now, vibrance doesn't need. We are done in color section. Now, let's work with the contrast and exposure. So, we're going to head to the light, add a little bit exposure, not too much, just a little bit. This is too much, maybe just a touch. Now, we want some contrast in this photo but we're not going to use the contrast. We're going to use something else to add contrast. To do that, go down to black. Now add some black by reducing black. There you go. Now you must be wondering, now it looks a bit underexposed, correct? Yes, it does. So in order to combat that problem, we're going to go to the white now and add some white. Now you have nice and beautiful contrast. Now, hang on a second the forehead of the fish looks a little bit overexposed so we're gonna go to the highlight reduce the highlight now you have a lot more detail on the forehead of the fish now, so far we are looking fantastic i'm gonna show you already before and after so that's before and that's after what a dramatic change right now what else you've got now we're gonna work on our effects first of all in effects we are going to add some clarity to in order to give a little bit boost on micro contrast so it's all about more contrast now once it's done i personally believe the shadow area could reduce a little bit shadow and add some brightness so i'm going to go back to the light again click shadow and let's see if it's working. Now, this looks good. Maybe a touch, a very minor touch of exposure. Not this too much. Now, four looks good. Beautiful. Now, we are going to the detail. Now, why detail? Because I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna show you something. And if I zoom in, you can see that you have a quite a bit of color noise. So you're gonna work on the noise and go down and it looks a little bit blurry. So you're gonna fix both. In order to do noise reduction and sharpening in Adobe Photoshop Express, first, you always start with the color noise. I'm gonna put the slide up until this color started to disappear. So now it's gone, but you have a little bit of luminance noise. So you're gonna go to the luminance noise reduction and stop until the grain disappears. Now, this looks just perfect. Here you go, before and after. Amazing. Now, sharpening. I like to add a lot of sharpening for underwater photo because usually, this photo taken in the aquarium, so the glass is already soft enough, so you want a little bit extra sharpening for your photo. Now, look at the forehead. Looks just amazing. Looks good. 
very very good i'm satisfied let's go backward and it looks nice noise free and perfect now a bit of a creative because again in the highlight department you still have a little bit blue ish tone right so go to the highlight in split tone put your hues lighter to the blue section uh, sorry to the red section because opposite of blue is red or yellow and put the saturation up and check this one out yes of course it looks a little bit red ish so you can go pull the hue to a little bit into the yellow now that looks quite normal and natural in the shadow we can do exactly the same bring the hue to the yellow add some saturation perfect now you only have the blue color on the skin of the fish but everything else looks different and natural all right so finally once again we're gonna look at before and after so that's our before that's after pretty amazing isn't it now we can go to the crop in crop you have facebook profile square the facebook profile cover page cover you have a button preset for instagram which is amazing there you go simple and minimalist you also have something for twitter or linkedin etc pinterest you see amazing my personal favorite is the free size so we're going to go back to original first of all bring it over here there you go now free size i would like to have the actual space in front of the mouth however being the far left on this side looks pretty good and once i'm done last thing i have to do is add a frame so there you go in the frame section my personal favorite is a little bit thin white section like that i really love it so i'm gonna keep it but you also have plenty of other choices i can actually change it to frame even but the frames are too big because i don't have much of a space so i'm gonna stick with this one and once you're done you can go to the preference make sure your jpeg is 100 percent go back and click save and you are good to go i hope this tutorial has been very useful to you if so like and subscribe helps me a lot and i see you in future video bye bye